Welcome to the Port of Prowler, where we are on the prowl to deliver the latest scoop on what's going down. Coming to you from the MassCom studio at Idaho State University. Here at the Port of Prowler, we're always looking for things you, the student, can get out and do in the Port of Valley. Wednesday night, the Bengal men's basketball team will be taking on the Bobcats of Montana State. Tip time is at 7 p.m. inside Holt Arena. The Bengals need support as they come down the home stretch of the season and look to earn a berth in the conference championship. Thursday afternoon marks the start of the 35th annual Simplot Games. The Simplot Games is the nation's premier indoor track meet for high school athletes. The games run through Saturday with competition from around the United States, including many future Olympians. The games kick off on Thursday afternoon and run through Saturday. And Friday night is ISU night at Pebble Creek Ski Area. You can make the short drive out to Pebble and enjoy fellow students on the snow hill. The night ski starts runs at that starts at 4 and runs through 9.30, rather, and that is what's going on this week. We want to show you one of the coolest and most romantic places in the Portna Valley. Take a look. If you're looking for a romantic evening with your special someone, look no further than the Black Swan Inn, located in the heart of Pocatello. Larry and Debbie Fisher purchased the old English Tudor building and began renovating it. Over the course of two years, they transformed it into a beautiful luxury themed hotel. When we first started this building, I'm a building contractor. We had five, uh, I had five employees at the time. So the first phase we did, we built eight rooms and it took us about two years to, to do from demolition to completion of all eight rooms. Since purchasing the Black Swan Inn in 1996, Larry and Debbie Fisher have designed each room themselves. The first luxury suite built was the caveman suite, which is still one of the most rented out rooms today. We have 15 rooms right now, uh, plus our office, and we've got room for three more. Each room is uniquely designed to create a different atmosphere where guests can escape from reality when they spend the night in one of the 15 luxury suites offered. Guests can stay in suites such as the Black Swan Garden, designed to resemble a 17th century French castle, or spend the night in the luxurious under the sea suite. But no matter where the guests stay, they are guaranteed to be surrounded by beautiful murals and sculpture while enjoying comfort and first class service. My husband and I enjoy coming here to the Black Swan. Um, it's a great place for a special occasion and anniversary. Um, all the rooms are unique. They're really great to check out. Um, it's kind of all inclusive. You can get free movie rentals, little gift baskets. It's a great place to come. Gift baskets can be purchased in the front lobby. Gifts such as Godiva chocolate, movie treat baskets, and sparkling cider. Along with a complimentary breakfast basket. The last couple of rooms were built exclusively by Larry and Debbie. The process takes about one year as Larry and Debbie design the room, construct it, and are responsible for every detail from the small intricate ones to the towering Egyptian statues. You know, it was a challenge, it was also fun as we, we'd, we'd have the, the basic idea in mind that we wanted as our finished product, but as we were doing the rooms, uh, different ideas would come about and we'd add on things and, and uh, people would have some thoughts and we thought that, you know, oh, that sounds like a great idea, so we would incorporate that into the rooms. There isn't a better place in town to spend Valentine's Day than at the Black Swan Inn. All right, if you can't book a room this Valentine's Day, Anytime you want to book something to spoil that special loved one, and we're honored to have the owner of the Black Swan in in our studio today. Larry, it's good to have you in. It's my pleasure. Now, how did you get involved into this business? Well, as mentioned in the video, I used to be a building contractor, and uh, my sister told us about a theme hotel down in Utah and said, you need to go down to that. It's a great place, a great thing to do. So my wife and I, I surprised her and made a reservation at the hotel down there in Utah and went and stayed. And, as I was sitting there enjoying the room, I thought, you know, this would be fun to do in Pocatello. We could have some, you know, we could use something like this in our community. Now, this is either every husband's worst nightmare or dream come true, <laughs> but you get to work with your wife. How wonderful is that? Oh, it's great, and uh, I always knew she was a talented woman, but uh, working with her at the Black Swan Inn has just amazed me. She just continues to do things that, uh, that just amaze me all the time. She has so much talent and ability, it's just great. Now, obviously, this is a business that thrives on your sat your customers returning, returning to your business, Certainly. and they have to leave satisfied and happy. How important is it that each guest at your hotel yeah. enjoys their night? 
Well, obviously it's very important. We, we live in a community where we don't have a large population, so we knew that if we didn't uh, get return customers that we wouldn't be in business very long. So it's very critical uh, for us from a business standpoint that people enjoy it, but also from a satisfaction, we want people to, to really have a good time there and enjoy mm -hmm. the experience. As a Pocatello native, how important is it that this business can thrive in this small community? Oh, it's very important. I, I really believe in this community. We have a wonderful community that we live in, and, and I think the Black Swan Inn is a great asset, not only for the people who live here, but it also brings in people that come and stay, so it also economically it helps the community because it is a destination. Now, speaking of you know, economically helping, we've been in a recession, to speak. It's no secret, but how is a place like the Black Swan Inn, where it has luxury attached to the name, thrived in a recession? You know, that's a good question because I get asked that quite a bit. And uh, we, we have seen uh, an effect with the recession. We are down a little bit. But, uh, you know, you think about it, everybody has their anniversaries every year. And, uh, you know, they need to do something. And the Black Swan is a great place to go and celebrate their anniversary. Um, and people do find money to do those things they really want to do. And, and, you know, experience like the Black Swan is a great, a great thing to experience. And then the third thing is we do lose some people that are really tight on their budget, but the people who normally would go on a cruise or some, something like that say, well, you know, we're a little tighter, so let's not go on the cruise this year. Let's go ahead and go and spend the time at the Black Swan Inn. Okay. Now, because of the tough economic times, do you have any promotions going on that you use to, to help those people that really want to stay but maybe just can't afford it? Uh, the best thing on that we found, we have a, a Facebook page, and if you go on the, if you like us on the Facebook page, we send out a special every Monday morning, and so people can see the special for that week. And then right now, a great thing is for Valentine's, we are full Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for Valentine's weekend, but we do sell gift certificates, so it's great to buy a gift certificate and give that to your, um, to your, your spouse or your companion. Now, if you're looking to book a place at your your hotel, how far in advance should you be getting online to make that booking? Well, if you want to do it for Valentine's, I suggest a couple months. But typically, you know, a few weeks would be is usually fine, unless there's a particular room you want that's a popular room, you might want to check it a little further in advance. But there's usually there's rooms even the same night. Okay. Now, what is the most popular room that's rented out? Uh, the Mayan Rainforest is by far the most popular room. All right. Well, guys, go check it out. The Mayan Rainforest at the Black Swan Inn, the most popular room now. Book now, and, and Larry, thanks for joining us. That was my and, pleasure. And good luck. Thank you. Thank you. And up next, we have the perfect restaurant to take your date for Valentine's Day. Don't go anywhere. Portland Prowlers will be right back. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Nicole Malakowski, a U.S. Air Force Fighter Squadron Commander and the first woman pilot with the United States Air Force Aerial Demonstration Team. My fellow airmen and I know that each of us plays a huge part in our victories, whether in the air or on the ground. We couldn't accomplish our mission without using everyone's skills to reach our goals. Embracing our differences and working together is also what has made America strong. Thank you for your support, and remember, our strength lies in our diversity. This message brought to you by the United States Air Force. Being a gold medalist skier requires a lot of hard work, intense training, and time outside on the mountain. But taking care of my skin is easy and doesn't affect my performance. Every day I apply sunscreen and wear protective gear. I know protecting my skin will help prevent skin cancer and avoid wrinkles. I get my skin checked regularly by a dermatologist. One in five Americans will develop some form of skin cancer in their lifetime. My name is Julia Mancuso and I'm wearing orange to help put a spotlight on skin cancer. passed away about six months ago. It was uh, really hard to learn that there was no cure. So we sought hospice care. The hospice people, they really helped. They made her feel comfortable. And they helped me and uh, the girls, especially the girls. They're helping us get through this loss. Now hospice people, they're just, they're good people. They're really good people. 
Looking for some date ideas this Valentine's Day? A nice restaurant is usually a pretty safe choice. Zev Davis visited the bridge last week to see what it's all about. Uncertain about where to take your date for Valentine's Day? Consider the bridge located at Kingport Junction in Pocatello's Warehouse District. The bridge is a fairly recent restaurant. It's soon approaching its third year here in Pocatello, but in that short time it's made quite a name for itself as one of Port Nook Valley's favorite spots for exquisite dining. The name comes as a result of wanting to bridge a fine dining experience with affordable prices. Something that Lisa Wilmore feels the restaurant has accomplished quite well. We started as a fine dining bar, uh, wine bar, and we now have extended over to, we have a lounge and a pub. You can come in here and pretty much experience about everything. We have a lounge back here that has a martini room and it, it can seat up to 20 people in it. And then our lounge area has two big couches that you can come, relax, have a drink. And then our sports bar, you can come and take a look at what's going on in, in the sports world. And then come in here and enjoy a fine dining atmosphere. The restaurant has a large selection of food suitable to almost any palate. Some of their best selling dishes are... Probably our tenderloin is one of the, the most ordered. Along with our hamburger, we're famous for our hamburger. As for Wilmore's personal favorite... Ooh, that's a hard one. There's so many. I like the shrimp pad thai. I like the grilled salmon. The tenderloin, it's, you can cut it with a fork. Uh, yoga sobe bowl is another personal favorite of mine. And the fish and chips, and the hamburger, and the barbecue ribs. <laughs> the bridge offers a wide variety of food. They aim to be more than that with their large selection of wines. We are a, um, a wine bar as well. So you can select anywhere from a Columbia Crest or a Idaho Sawtooth all the way to uh, Silver Oak that's out of the Columbia uh, River. The bridge always focuses on offering exquisite dishes, but this Valentine's Day they will be serving a specialized menu. For Valentine's Day, well, our, our chefs are working on a special menu for couples, so it will be a couples menu, and it's one price, and it'll sure to please any couple. We're, we're going to have lobster, prime rib, a special dessert, and our bar is whipping up special drinks for that occasion as well. Couples can also look forward to a special dessert on Valentine's Day. As for what that dessert is... I can't say. It's a secret. On the prowl at the bridge, I'm Zeph Davis. I'm excited to see what that dessert is. When we last talked to Wilmore, reservations for Valentine's Day were still available, but I'm sure they're filling up fast. You can call the bridge at 234-7000, or you can visit the restaurant on First Avenue in Pocatello. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and for many of us, that means a last-minute trip to the flower shop and Hallmark store for a nice card. I went out on campus to see if ISU students were prepared for the upcoming holiday. Now that the NFL football season is over, here are some top TV shows to watch. Just Fight, created by Graham Host, is based on Elmore Leonard's novels Pronto and Riding Rap. The main character is Raylan Givens, who plays a U.S. Deputy Marshal who enforces his brand of justice. Downtown Abbey, a British period drama created by Julian Fellows, has won Golden Globe and Emmy Awards for Outstanding Missionaries. The show was aired on PBS. The following premiere. No. Why not? I don't have a Valentine. All right, Jade, and uh, do you have any major plans for Valentine's Day? I'm working. <laughs> where, do, where do you work? Mom Inez. They didn't give you the day off? Nope. Why not? Because they don't like me. I do, but I can't tell you because then she'll know about it. So it's a surprise? Yes. Okay, fair enough. If you were going to get her something for Valentine's Day, what would it be? Uh, I already have something in mind, but I'll just give an example and say flowers and chocolates. You got any uh, major plans for Valentine's Day? Well, I didn't until you just uh, brought it up, but uh, yes, I am going to make plans. If, if you did have a Valentine, what would be the best gift that you would get her? <sighs> My love. All the singles will be at the bar drinking that night. <laughs> so, so what about them? Do you have a Valentine? No. What about one of those bar singles? Well, no, no. Why not? Because they're old. <laughs> so, so what do you think of the flowers and chocolate idea? That's a good start. Can you tell him you want a Mercedes Benz for me? Yeah, if we weren't going to college, I would, definitely. Can you, can you not want one anyway? No. 
that's not really my type. I know your your wife's not here, so uh, any big plans that you can tell us about? I believe we're going to do a uh, spa day and dinner. Yeah. Are you struggling to find your loved one a Valentine's gift? Don't worry, we have the best guide for you after the break. Port of Prowlers will be right back. For others, it may have just been a summer job. Hey, Jim, my, something happened with my me, IFC. I can't it was it. training. Now I'm an Air Force pararescuement, and my job is to save lives. Make the right choices today and be ready for the challenges tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. She passed away about six months ago. Okay, I can hear now. Thanks, Jim. Sure, yeah, they That's missed the mom. I think it fell it when I came here. It was hard to learn that there was no cure. You know, you don't yeah. want to see somebody that you love suffer. So we sought hospice care. The hospice people made her feel comfortable and pain-free. At first, the girls didn't know what was going on. They, uh, the girls knew that mommy was sick, that mommy wasn't feeling well, but they didn't know that mommy was, that mommy was going to die. I don't have, always have the answers, the best answers to questions that they're going to ask about what's going on. And uh, often the hospice people would, would be there. And they helped, you know, they helped me and the girls through just an incredibly hard time. Valentine's Day can be a daunting day. With so many options these days, it's easy, it's easy to get overwhelmed. Luckily, Martin Gallegos has you covered with the complete idiot's guide to Valentine's Day. Finding something special for your Valentine can be a true task. Luckily, a few area businesses offer their expert advice to finding that special gift. This is a lover's holiday, and just for all sweethearts, and just um, a great time of the year to tell your loved one that you love them and do something special for them. A motto we have here is, uh, when words can't say, send a bouquet. So um, for kids, we have candy bouquets. Um, for fellas, we have um, snack baskets, uh, too hot to handle. So yeah, so those are really fun. Um, for $20, we can hook you up with a uh, box of chocolates and a single rose. Um, we can do um, a bunch bouquet. We do bouquets for 35, 45, 55. We have a dozen medium stem roses for $49.95 on special. Um, for 100 bucks, you can do the whole enchilada, the bear, the balloons, the chocolates, and the, and the flowers. So, But we welcome all the last minute guys because that's just what we do. We're here, we're your Valentine's headquarters, so we're here to take care of you even if it's the 14th. So. Located on 15th Street, Nels Bilo has been servicing the community for over 21 years, and they are offering a unique take-home special. Um, we just we thought we'd give people an alternative instead of going out to dinner, um, because that can be expensive by the time you do all of that stuff. Each of them comes with a potato, a salad, we give you a bottle of sparkling cider, and uh, a box of chocolates. The special can be mixed and matched with different sides and entrees to ensure that your meal is a satisfying experience. I think going that route shows that you've thought about it a little bit more and you put a little more effort into it and therefore I think it makes it a little more meaningful. Located on Benton Street, the Grapevine has something special for everyone. We have a variety of food um, items, we do gift crates, we have different tapenades and dips, we have uh, an array of chocolate. Right now we, we're really um, enjoying these Choco Love bars. They come in a like one and a half ounce and a three ounce size and they're really really nice chocolate, um, very interesting flavors. There's a ginger chocolate, 
um, peppermint chocolate, and inside the wrappers they have a love sonnet. We have a lot of wine, and we have over 200 different microbrews and imports. A popular item for Valentine's Day is their gift crates. You just come in, fill them up, and put them together. It should be about the Valentine. So finding things that, that they enjoy and they, they like and that they're going to have use of is, I think, the most important part. On the Prowl in Pogatello, I'm Martin Gallegos. Are you having a difficult time getting over the end of football season? Andrew Archuleta tells us one solution that he's found. Now that the NFL football season is over, here are some top TV shows to watch. Just Fight, created by Graham Hose, is based on Elmore Leonard's novels Pronto and Writing Rap. The main character is Raylan Givens, who plays a U.S. Deputy Marshal who enforces his brand of justice. Downtown Abbey, a British period drama created by Julian Fellows, has won Golden Globe and Emmy Awards for Outstanding Missionaries. The show was aired on PBS. The following premiered on Fox on January 21st of this year and stars Kevin Bacon in the dramatic series. The series is about an FBI agent who finds himself in the middle of a network of serial killers. The Walking Dead was developed by Frank Dar Port of Prowlers still has more to come. When we return, we're going to take a look at all the exciting upcoming activities on the campus of Idaho State University. And oh, did we mention later on the show we're going to have our first giveaway? Port of Prowlers will return in a minute. Hi. Just fine. Just got here. They seem nice. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'm excited. Miss you too, Mom. Everyone is a story. Everyone. He passed away last year. It was hard at first when we found out how sick he was. The doctor suggested hospice care at home. He came home, and that was wonderful. And the hospice helped a great deal. They were there whenever we needed them. They helped me take care of him. I didn't know. I didn't know where to start what to do, what his needs were going to be. As the illness got worse and worse, they were there with help and suggestions and, and just how to do it, how to cope with it. They made his last months comfortable, pain-free, which was a blessing. We were able to find some joy till the very end. In order to beat breast cancer, I knew I would have to lose my breasts, but to reclaim my life, I chose breast reconstruction. Each year, nearly 150,000 women will learn they will undergo a mastectomy due to breast cancer. But seven out of 10 women are never told about their breast reconstruction options. Breast reconstruction is a very important part of the healing process, both physically and emotionally. Download my song, Flower, to share the message and help us share the fact that women can feel whole again. Here are some ISU activities that are happening this week. Hey there, come join UPC as we celebrate Fruit Frenzy on February 13th at the sub lobby at noon. We will dedicate a whole day to strawberries with free giveaways and tons of fruity fun. And remember to visit UPC by logging on to www.isu.edu slash union slash UPC. Have a good night. Come check out Nepalese Night on Saturday, February 16th. The doors open at 6 p.m. in the Ponston Union Ballroom. There will be food and live entertainment. Tickets are $7 for students, $8 for faculty, and $9 for the general public and will be sold in the Pond Student Union and the Rendezvous Complex the week before the event. And as promised with our first show, we're also doing our first giveaway. 
for one lucky fan who likes our brand new Facebook page, Portnet Prowler, and is the first to comment on our photo, you will win a chocolate surprise from Florence's Chocolate. Up next, we'll introduce you to our special performer. You don't want to miss this. In order to beat breast cancer, I knew I would have to lose my breasts. But to reclaim my life, I chose breast reconstruction. Each year, nearly 150,000 women will learn they will undergo a mastectomy due to breast cancer. But seven out of 10 women are never told about their breast reconstruction options. And the numbers are even worse for minorities. That needs to change. This living can't be called living if it's really only half a life. She's a flower that grows despite cement walls. And she will survive. She will survive. I wrote the song Flower to raise awareness of this important issue. Breast reconstruction is a very important part of the healing process, both physically and emotionally. And all women should know their reconstruction options. Download my song Flower to share the message and help us share the knowledge that women can feel whole again. Welcome to Cook It Safe Challenge, where teams compete to make the right decision about safe food right. preparation. Our challenge in this round, oven, or microwave. To win, teams must use the proper steps for safe meal preparation, read and follow package cooking instructions, and know when to use the conventional oven or the microwave. Do not You're on the clock, so make your decisions quickly, but be warned, make the wrong choice and your meal will be unsafe. Sorry, Team 2, an unwise choice. Check the cooking instructions on that package you ripped open so quickly. Dude, what? Microwaves and conventional ovens both have a purpose. Your challenge was to cook the dish safely. This means knowing which method of cooking to use, and you failed. We failed to read and follow the package cooking instructions and use a conventional oven. If you don't follow cooking instructions, some foods may be hot but may not have reached a safe internal temperature. Use a food thermometer to be sure. We kept focus on reading and following the package Wrong. cooking instructions. And we used a conventional oven and a food thermometer. Can you cook it safe? Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, we present you White Diamond. I don't know who I am, I don't know where I'm going, stuck in this time warp. My life is frozen, stuck in the moment, I never grown up. But I'm still hoping I can make my mind up. Lost and out of touch, schizophrenic much, a different me every day. A Brady Bunch, we all a family, my personalities. Yeah, I'm crazy, but no one ever treated me. So tell me who you want, cause baby, I can change. Give it, take it, push it, shove it, pull it back or rearrange. Baby, it's your play, just let me set the stage. Keep me in your story so we can turn another page. And baby, it's true, I'm in love with you, you, you. You're on my heart like a tattoo No, I never want to break through You can have my heart if you want to You can tear me apart if you want to Put me back together with glue If you want, I'll reinvent me for you Why you yelling at me? What did I do? Sorry I messed up I didn't get the cue I didn't get the cue I don't know what to do this is getting out of hand, I can't read you I don't understand, I can't please you I'm not Superman, I can't see through uh, Could you tell me baby, uh, please do What could I do to be the perfect man for you? I'll do whatever it takes, I'll even change my face Trade it in for something better, exchange rate I know you got a plan, take me in your hands Mold me like clay baby till you make your dream man and baby, it's true, I'm in love with you, you, you. You're on my heart like a tattoo. No, I never want to break through. You can have my heart if you want to. You can tear me apart if you 